Throughout the time that our language has developed, idioms and common phrases came about that we simply sometimes say and reaction when they're relevant. When you're expecting a retort, you say, the ball is in your court. When someone tries passing off blame to another, you say, it takes two to tango. With each idiom, there is often an origin of where they came from. So, here are my top 10 hidden meanings behind common sayings. Number 10. Break the ice. An icebreaker is something that is supposed to get someone to open up to strangers. Strangers are scary sometimes, and people are very wary about them. Just think about your early college years, when you had to introduce yourself to your classmates by asking their names, favourite colour and other various questions. Back before trains, cars or planes, port cities thrived on trading good via ships. But during the winters, rivers would often freeze over and prevent any commercial ships from trading with them. So, a smaller ship with a sturdy build would break through the ice and rescue stranded ships. So today, people are often told to have icebreakers and to break the ice before they can start projects or friendships. <laughs> friendships. Number 9. Run amok. To run amok means to go crazy, wild and bring on chaos. And this comes from the Malaysian word amok, which was used to describe tribesmen who would become a rampaging wild mob that attacked anyone who crossed their paths. This was also done under the influence of opium. Number 8. Kick the bucket. Do you know what my granddad said to me before he kicked the bucket? He said, grandson, how far do you think I can kick this bucket? <laughs> anyway, someone kicking the bucket is a common phrase used when someone or something dies. When a cow was sent to a slaughterhouse, it was strung up on a thing called a bucket. Sometimes after death, the animal's leg would kick the bucket as it died. Number 7. Cat got your tongue? This saying is used when someone can't respond or find themselves at a loss for words. The origin of this saying isn't actually clear, but many people have made up new backgrounds for it. They often say that sailors would get whipped with the cat and nine tails, and the pain was so unbearable that they couldn't even cry out in agony. Other origins is that a person's tongue would be cut out and thrown to the cats for spreading lies and blasphemy. None of these have any solid evidence to prove where it actually came from. Though the French have a saying, jet, jet, uh, I can't read French. On screen here, literally means, I throw my tongue to the cat. But that is useful when someone has nothing to say. Number six, go cold turkey. Going cold turkey is a phrase used when someone wants to quit something that is extremely difficult by simply stopping. It's often used with smokers who are trying to quit. This is because people thought that an addict's skin, while going through withdrawal, would become rough to the touch, covered in goosebumps, and become overly pale and translucent. This is the same look of a plucked turkey. Number 5. More than you can shake a stick at. Having more of something than you actually need is what we use this phrase for. And where this particular phrase came from is exactly how it's used today. Before, farmers corralled and controlled their sheep by shaking their shepherd's staff to direct the livestock on where to go. When the farmer couldn't control all of their sheep, it was commonly said that they had more than you can shake a stick at. Number 4. Saved by the Bell No, this isn't that 80s, 90s TV show about American high school kids. Instead, this bell was used to rescue someone from being buried alive. And while the school bell does help one from being rescued by an unwanted situation, this was far more dire than someone finding a diary and is about to read it out loud. People were often buried with their hands holding a rope. This rope was connected to a bell by the tombstone. And at night, the guard would listen for any bells in case they needed to quickly dig up a person. Number 3. Waking up on the wrong side of the bed. Ever wake up feeling angry or upset for no real reason? 
snapping at someone who dared talk to you after you just awoke from your slumber. You probably got told that you woke up on the wrong side of the bed. That's such a weird thing to say to someone, don't you think? But that was because it was a superstition that anything to do with the left side of the body was considered to be satanic and sinister. Which makes you wonder why people wear wedding rings on their left hand, and why the heart is closer to the left side. To ward off any evil, innkeepers would make sure that the left side of the bed was completely flushed up against the wall, forcing the tenant to get up on the right side of the bed. This explains why, back in the day, people didn't like lefties. Number 2. Go the whole nine yards. Going the whole nine yards describes someone who would try their hardest. While the origin isn't completely known, it does have a few explanations. The most common one accepted is during World War II, fighter pilots had a nine yard chain of ammo to use. And when he used all of the ammo on the intended target, he gave it the whole nine yards. Number 1. Blood is thicker than water. Many people use this saying to show the family bonds. The blood part is often used to signify a relation between the people involved. But what is the water meant to be? Well, an older saying is, blood is thicker than the water of the womb. This means that we often use this phrase backwards. The blood is speculated to represent the bond between warriors and soldiers that are made in battle, and is a nice sentiment of how you can consider someone family who isn't from the same household as you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little roundup of idioms and their origins. And if you want to see another interesting top 10, click here for my top 10 parasites that will make your skin crawl. And if you have any suggestions of some interesting top 10s you want to see yourself, let me know in the comment section below.